pockets. All right now, Joe. And now, your host. Today on the Right Now Show, we have our first ever non-Buyer's Edge platform guest. I've invited some friends to join me from Sabert, and it seemed like y'all were having a good time. Were you having fun here in the office? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I That's love great. it. I love this setup. Ping pong. Let's do it. Yeah. Right on. Can you please tell us your name, where you're visiting from, what yeah. kind of work you do, that kind of thing? Sure. So I'm Lindsay. I have the. the the joy every day of selling packaging for a living. I love it. Great. And you? Uh, Chris Goggin. So I live in the Nashville, Tennessee area. Been with Sabre seven years uh, on our corporate account team. I manage this whole uh, program and uh, love selling packaging. And my name's Andy. I run the marketing department here at Buyer's Edge Platform. And we started this little show just as a way to uh, get to know people in the office, have a little fun, and um, just sort of spread information around our company and about what we're doing and the great people we work with. So I'm really honored that you decided to join me today. You were upstairs earlier and you did a little tour through all of your um, amazing Sabre products. And you, there was this word you kept saying, craft, craft, craft. And it made me think of arts and crafts. And <laughs> that made me think that maybe we could marry the uh, wonders of packaging with you know, the joys yeah. of art. Um, would you consider yourself a good artist, a good Horrible. painter? Great, and you? <laughs> oh, I'm outstanding. Are you kidding me? Yeah, okay, good. Yeah. Are you a good artist? Are you a doodler? Or a drawing? I am the beholder. Yes, okay. I'm awesome. <laughs> Alright, so here's what I'd like to invite you to do. Um, you know, we love food here. We're obsessed with food. So what I'm going to invite you to do is to paint for us your favorite food. It could be your favorite meal, maybe. And um, we have these amazing Sabert um, clamshells. We can use these as your palettes. Okay. Um, there's a, a plethora of brushes, every color you could possibly imagine. Here, take your palette. Think about <coughs> what, which which of these incredible. Do you want to use this um, compostable um, Sabert palette? Uh, sure. You want to use that. that one? Okay. Yeah. And um, this is from your pulp line. Yes. Yeah. And so maybe get started. Go ahead. Take some paints. Grab a couple brushes. We have a beautiful um, canvas here for you to work on. Okay. And we're going to paint. And while, while you paint your favorite meal or your favorite food, we can talk a little bit about you know the work you do and what you love about working at Saber okay. and a partnership and stuff like that. Lindsay got right out of the gate getting to work really fast working on her the green base of her of her painting. Meanwhile, Chris over here is still squirting paints and contemplating colors. I think Lindsay's really got a, a big advantage so far, but we'll see where this goes. I'm, I'm excited for, uh, to see what Chris has to say because not only are we getting the perfect packaging pairing, I think Chris is going to give us a wine pairing to go with his favorite dish too. I'm really excited about what it is. Megan, what, what do you think we are seeing so far here? What do you think it is that Lindsay is drawing? I thought it was a carrot at first. A carrot, okay. But now I don't know. It's important for a restaurant owner or the restaurant staff to be their own customer. Like, we will ask them, when's the last time you were your own customer? Where you ordered your own carry-out delivery oh. or you had it delivered to your house or you came and picked it up? And did you like the way that it came to you? Did you enjoy the food that you ate out of there? And you would not believe how many times people say, honestly, no, I've never done that. Interesting. Customers have really realized that, you know, it makes a difference. Even mm -hmm. if I spend another 50 cents on a container, customers are going to appreciate it, but they're going to feel more like they're getting the atmosphere at home that yeah. they get at the dining because yeah. the food's still going to be uh, tasty. Listen, you're the artist. You have to follow your own vision. You know, how do you make a, a small fortune in the restaurant business? Well, you start out with a large fortune. Right, okay. If you put a little bit of um, investment in your packaging, then consumers, especially right now, where their, their date night might be ordering in rather sure. than cooking, they want to have that same dining experience as though they're right at the restaurant in their own home. I gotta say, you know, the credit of our friends from Sabre, this was not like a, oh, I don't know, this is a little silly. They were like, no, we're in. We're painting now. Leave us alone. Yeah. All right. Thank you both so much for, um, completing these paintings. Um, Chris, come, 
let's 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 look at Lindsay's painting. Um, you know Lindsay well. I presume you work together. You travel together. Um, I'm I I'm not sure exactly what to make of this. I feel like maybe there were some meatballs happening, but then it's on a sea of green. I'm I'm gonna wager my guess. I have it in my head. I'm not gonna change it. What do you think? Okay, so knowing Lindsay, she eats healthier than anybody I know, right? Yeah. So okay. this is uh I I can't do it, but she does. Um, almost that's definitely a salad. Yeah. Um, I think she has strawberries on that salad. Oh, oh brown strawberries. <laughs> I was gonna say falafel. <laughs> maybe a salad with falafel. Dots, maybe. I was thinking strawberries. Okay. Uh, it's definitely right. something healthy on top. Strawberry salad. I'm guessing it's a, is it a um, salad with falafel on top? No. It's boneless wings. Boneless oh. wings. Oh, that's blue great. Cheese. I like it. I like oh, and blue <laughs> cheese. <laughs> I like okay, it. boneless okay. wings and blue cheese. Great. Now, sesame bones. Do you have a favorite? A sesame boneless wings. There we go. Yeah. Okay. 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 Like very good. Very good. Now, um, do you have a favorite uh, sesame boneless? That's very specific. Do you have a favorite sesame boneless wings? I don't. Order. Okay. I don't. If you were gonna order, if you were gonna start Lindsay's Sesame Boneless Wing Shack, which Saber container would you deliver this product? I well, depending on the size of the order, you know, if, if someone's doing a, a seven, a small would be around seven. Seven I, wings. Yeah. Okay. I would use the this. Oh, we didn't write it down here. The uh, five by five clamshell, craft clamshell. If they were doing a medium order. You know, around 14 wings. I would do this guy right here. And why this product? Well, because these actually hold up pretty well to hot and cold foods. Uh -huh. And because um, although they're PFAS free, they do have a oil, a grease barrier in there. So, and I could custom print my logo. On Love top. that. Um, and then if I was doing a large order, I would take it up a notch and, and you nice. could do the larger container. Well, I talked to Chris. Why don't you start painting whatever that logo would be? <laughs> okay. Now, Lindsay, what do you think Chris is looking for his, excuse me, favorite meal to be? Well, Chris does not eat healthy. And I try. I try. <laughs> that to me looks like a bowl of pasta with bacon bits on it. Okay, so, or maybe a pancetta. Sure, yeah. Okay, a bowl of pasta. And what's going on here, you think? Uh, that's a roll with butter. Oh, roll with butter. Okay, I was thinking it was a baked potato. All right, so it's a roll with butter. And a glass of brown wine. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> a glass of glass. Um, correct. Okay, so um, is it a, did you make a rigatoni bolognese? Well, oh, I, I know it's like clear, everybody can tell, right? So, I mean, it's, it's I was going for penne pasta. Penne. With like a meaty marinara sauce. Okay, yeah. yeah. Bolognese. Yeah. Rigatoni yeah. bolognese. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty close. Yeah. I thought I was actually I almost said penne because they keep they are kind of sharp. Some of them, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> with a <laughs> butter roll, and what are you pairing it with? Uh, your favorite drink of choice, whatever that might. Okay. Be. Anywhere from Pepsi to a Cabernet Franc. Right. <laughs> and um, what what um, Saber package would you? Well, so if, if you that would definitely go in a pulp round bowl, much like the one over there. Probably a little bit deeper, one like of the deeper one. Yeah, yeah. definitely a bowl like that. And um, how about the roll? If you were delivering them, would you would you put that separate? Or would you somehow package them yeah, together? Yeah, so you could do you could do that in a separate, um, probably in a separate small um, a small container, like probably like the craft bowl. But we do have some smaller uh, rectangles uh, or a little uh, little, little small square that we have in the pipe. And I think, if you'll excuse me for a minute. Um, you could even package your your pairing. Yes, if absolutely. you had a bottle of wine to go with it. Yep. And tell yep. us about this contraption. So this is this is for your um, late nights. Yeah. When you want to fill it up with, um, you know, you're preparing pasta and wine. Yeah, for sure. sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, what is the most common use of this? Do you think? Well, how are people using it? Because it seems like I've seen packages like this for for coffee. But then this doesn't seem like the kind of dispenser you might use for coffee, or am I Yeah, so this is uh, typically a three gallon for coffee, is how it was originally designed. For coffee. But you can literally put anything in this that's not yeah. carbonated. So, yeah. um, you know, during COVID, we were marketing, this is our beverage on the move, is what right. we call it. We were marketing this for cocktails to go to restaurants. Right, totally. Right? So you could literally put anything besides soda, teas, juices, yeah. um, cocktails. Margarita. Yeah, absolutely. Love you it. Totally do that. So, that's great. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for um, telling us about your favorite foods. Next time you come, we'll be sure to have some boneless wings and <laughs> some penne bolognese, and of course with a butter roll. 
And uh, I just want to thank you for being uh, partners of Buyers of Platform and for coming on the Right Now Show. We'll catch you all next time. We will be auctioning off these paintings. Um, so place your bids early. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Thank you.